for traveling uh, for no insurance, no driver's license, and no registration, as well as uh, that they were going to uh, impound my car, tow and impound the automobile. At that time, I advised him that on the side of my window, on the driver's side passenger window, I had placed sections of the criminal code with regards to claim of right, lawful excuse, and defending property with claim of right. I also advised him that uh, I, I have the right to defend uh, my property, but will not do so based on the fact that they have all the weapons um, and only an insane individual would do so. I advised him that uh, I do not consent, I do not did not require his service, and that um, these actions are under protest and duress. And I also advised him at that time that I um, had no conflict with the Calgary Police Service. Um, the only question thereafter that he had for me was why am I doing this? And my response was that I had many experiences throughout my life that led me to where I am right now. At that, there goes the car and uh, I was on my way. Um, my first court date was March the 17th, St. Patrick's Day. I expected it to be relatively easy as I have uh, some experience with the courtrooms. I have helped people as agent uh, defend themselves. I expected to get um, disclosure information at this time, adjourn this, and come back at another date. Um, I also asked both the prosecutor and the uh, Justice of the Peace that was sitting at the time why they refused to file my documents. They refused to answer. The, the only answer I got was no. So at that point, I knew that there was a curveball going on here. I asked for an adjournment of eight weeks. I was again advised no. I advised the JP that I spoke with the pros Crown Prosecutor prior to standing up and that uh, she was in agreement with allowing me time to get disclosure, review the information, some time to prepare a motion or a charter application and then to uh, appear back in court. In the end, uh, I got six weeks and um, Act 1, Scene 2 is scheduled for April the 28th, 2010. Thank you. What I've noticed over the past couple of days playing with some troglodytes on a form in, uh, from St. Catharines is that this is a very contentious issue. Some people are very proud of the fact that they have never looked in their own heart. They've never studied the acts. They trust the government implicitly and completely. They always pay their taxes. They're a good little citizen and they want their cookie. And they don't want anyone thinking in a manner that they don't agree with. If you do start expressing yourself and thinking for yourself, you are automatically, according to them, a cult member or you've been brainwashed. Now, I know that they're very fearful. I understand that their ignorance is fear-based and they absolutely refuse to look at any, at any of these uh, reasons for my beliefs because they can discount these beliefs because of where they come from. You're a cult member. Really? Well, look at this. No, I don't have to look at it. You're a cult member. Almost 30 pages, over 30 pages of stuff there, and all they can do is keep calling me a cult leader. Uh, people who look at the free man perspective are minions who can't think for themselves, and yet they are so very, very fearful of what would happen if and then they have all sorts of scary scenarios about things that could happen to them. And of course, Nanny must keep them safe from the big, bad, scary freemen on the land who are willing to look at these words and think for themselves in order to determine exactly what they mean and whether or not they're applicable even. Yeah, they're very funny. I found it very, very telling that they were so incredibly fearful and hate-filled, it seemed. They're actually getting together now. They, they've started their own little MSN chat where they can help deal with these anti-free men stuff. And they're, uh, they're calling up the government and asking the government to do something about this free men on the land. They claim that the free men on the land stuff is bullshit. Uh, that I'm a scam artist that's no good at it because I don't make money and I just give my stuff away for free. And they also try to claim that I don't do what I talk, that I don't walk the walk that I talk. 
Well, that's not the case. I mean, they have been so wrong on so many things, it's unbelievable. But what we're looking at here is not uh, so much the fear and the mindset of those who have been essentially conditioned their whole life to act as children and to allow people in the government and the courts to dictate their actions and their beliefs and their thoughts. They never look in their own heart and decide from there what to do. No, all these decisions are made out for them. It's like kids, you know, when you're a kid and your parent laid out your clothes so you'd wear them the next day. They want their morals all laid out for them so that they don't have to do any soul searching whatsoever. And those who are willing to do some soul searching arrive at their own uh, decisions, think for themselves, well, they're apparently brainwashed cult members. I find that very, very funny, very telling. And apparently these people are older adults who uh, one claims to be retired, and I know what it is. Canada Pension Plan, he's been paying into that a whole long time. He spent his whole life in support of this government, and now he's, he refuses to look at any evidence which could support the idea that maybe they don't actually have his best interest at heart. Canada Pension Plan. What happens if a bunch of freemen, what if we all become freemen? We say, no, I'm not paying in the Canada Pension Plan anymore. Is he going to get his or not? Likely not. And that's what he's so afraid of. See, everyone has some form of agenda. Everyone has something that they want to achieve. Whether or not you hide it or whether or not you are very open and public with it, well, that's fine. Uh, that's up to you. What I noticed with these people, they were upset that when I told them, well, I'm going to be making a movie about this and how you guys are responding, and I'm going to be making a movie about the common law right to travel. I've got three movies on the go right now. And they were, they were like, oh, I'm sure you're going to twist it around and not give us fair chance. And I said, okay, you can have some time on my movie. Oh, well, you'll just censor it and edit it. I said, okay, you can have 30 minutes flat out. You do whatever you want. You can go before, you can go after. Explain your perspective on this, and we'll share it with the people in the country. No, no, I don't want to do that. You're a cult leader. Why should I support your cult? So you see... It gets to a point where there's no sense even trying to use logic and reason with them because they automatically just go, la, 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 I can't hear you, I can't see you, you're a cult member, la, la, la. And then when you say, okay, I'm done trying to talk to you, they think they won. However, none of this works in court, and that's where uh, rights are going to be determined. So let's have a little look at the logic and the reason that the uh, few people in St. Catharines just absolutely refuse to look at. Mostly, they say because I'm a cult member or a cult leader and therefore whatever I say is tainted, I believe it's because they are fearful of what they would see and what they would then know. They like the idea that they've been right their whole life and they hate the idea of finding out that they might not have been. So let's take a look at the uh, the argument that I would have presented to them uh, had they been actually capable of rational discussion. Now, folks, this is a contentious issue. I have no doubt about that. And I had some fun on the, uh, the forum, uh, the uh, Niagara forum there with a bunch of these naysayers. Their big thing, they think I'm a cult leader and that the whole World Freeman Society is a cult. So we're going to take a little boo at this situation here first. We'll put World Freeman Society here, and we will put these other people over here. Now, we will examine, are we in fact a cult or not? Now, as a Freeman on the land, I want you to expand your, your sources of information. I want you to look as many places as possible, do your own research, do your own due diligence, educate yourself. So I want you to expand info. These other guys, they advocate not even listening to me at all. Why? Because I'm a cult leader. Anything I say is cult drivel. It's cult rhetoric. It's just me trying to um, uh, recruit people to my cult. So because it's a cult, don't even listen to it. So we can see that they wish to restrict your access to information. As a free man on the land, I think you should look in your own heart. 
I think you should find that which is truth to you, and I think you should find